Good afternoon and welcome to Hazen Union Hudson Fields. Your Hazen Union Wildcat boys in their home opener against the Oxbow Olympians today. Boys come in on a two game win streak. They won up in Richford in a quagmire of a field last week, six to one. And they put a pounding on the Danville Indians 10-0 this past Saturday. There's a shot on goal, wide. And that's about the most I've seen Ethan Choplin tested so far this year. Got the ball in behind the defense. This Olympians team a little bit quick. Testing the, the shopper early. We have a sub coming in. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16 on your local cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Channel 1080. We're channel, channel 1080 now. Okay. Uh, HCTV.us, our sponsors today, Caldwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will insure anything and everything that you need insurance on. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. Good to be back here at Hudson Fields. Home opener starting. We'll have the uh, Lady Cats tomorrow night. I forget who they're playing. I think, you know what, I don't even dare to speculate. But uh, I had looked at the schedule and then I forgot it in my haste. Throw in, and I got to match names and numbers again. We had to lost some seniors last year. Coming to you from a slightly lower perspective this year. I believe that's Cody Hall with the throw in. Or as I was told to call him CJ. Wildcats up, looking to get that shot off. Put back Isaiah Baker, he's been hot so far this year. Jaden Baker, he's been just as hot. Turns around, Reed Keeler, shot on goal, saved by the freshman goalie. Dakota Goodrich, the freshman starting for the uh, Olympians today. Ball back to center field. Cody Hall looking to make the turn against the defender over there. That is Cameron Roy, a freshman, playing defense, number 19 for the Olympians. Liz on camera. Did I say that, Liz? I don't know. I want to make sure and give everybody the proper greeting here today. Here are the Olympians breaking past the defense once again. Shot on. Easy save for the shopper. Up the near side, Tyson Davison. Pass over. Pass up. Defense bounces back. Aiden Neal with the header. Baker moves in front. The butcher, the baker, the goal maker. I'll have to come up with for Jaden now. I got two of them out here. Oxbow looking to push back up. That looks like uh, White Riker Willette over there. Playing some defense. Here's CJ Hall on the far side, inside. Tyler Rivard chipped it up. Cody looking to center. Comes down, save. Goodrich. Pass back up. Olympians coming with just one sub today. Looks like we've got a few more over there on the bench for the Wildcats. Big kick by the shopper, Reed Keeler. Back to Baker. Rivard. Over to Cody. Shot in. Save. Long shot. Goodrich passes back. Aaron Thurston giving chase here on the near side. Tyson Davison playing him tough. Pass in the middle. Rivard there to chip that one back in. I'm thinking on knowing that, guys, but I want to make sure I do. Keeler. Baker tried to get that one in. Couldn't go. Thurston. Thurston splits the double team. Out of bounds. Throw in. Lincoln. Mitchell. Tyson inside. Keeler. Shot, goal, did he save it? That is a goal, goal! 
C.J. Hall with the goal. His first of the season. Gives the Cats the 1-0 lead with 34-41 left to go here in the first half. Crazy sequence there. Shot went in off the bar. I thought it had gone in. Then it trickled across the goal mouth. Thought it had gone in twice. Got a kick back out the field. Cody said, I'll take this and put it in. Here's Jaden Baker. Moving up. Keeler. Dances around the inside. Isaiah Baker puts on a long shot wide. Must be it went off one of, we have the corner kick. The golf and Olympian that I didn't see, Liz? Anyways, Hazen with the corner kick. The most exciting play in all of soccer, I think. Keeler to the middle. Looking for the header, it goes, squirts on by. Isaiah Baker, Chase on the far side. Looking to turn back inside. Defender right there with him. I believe that's Matthew Cordy, if that's a number eight over there playing against him. Out of bounds, red throw. Trio of subs comes in for the Wildcats. Wildcats hoping a little home cooking can keep their win streak alive. Staying at 2-0 so far this season. Off the end line, I think this will be now be a goal kick. The most boring play in all of soccer, in my humble opinion. Goodrich with the kick up over on the far side. Bruce. Bruce over there. Bruce Fortman was on the far side. Giving chase on that one. Here's it up. Shopper boots it back. High spinner down the middle. Gets by the defense. Baker looking around. Ball went high. Zach Kane over on D. Keeler's going to line up T1 off. No, defender gets in front at the last minute. Nice play by the Oxbow defense. As Keeler had a wide open shot in front of him. I can't get a number for who that was, but whoever it was, he saved a sure goal. Reed was about ready to tee it up. I believe it was Gavin Haskins made the defensive play on that if it was number five, or I think it was, judging by his height and the way he's moving. Throw in, Oxbow. Hazen played as dominant a game as I have ever seen against Danville this past Saturday on both ends of the field. Defense allowed hardly anything. Shopper could have set up back here and watched a little college football or something. And the offense was firing on all cylinders. Throw in. Katz, Baker, nice pass over to Tyson. Aaron Thurston playing defense against Tyson. Tyson just about takes him out of his shoes. Baker back to Tyson. This is what we saw the other day too. Just beautiful give and go, passing, patience, waiting for the open shots. Keeler here on the near side, works their inside against Fifield. Cleared back out, staying in. A lot of action here in front of the goal. Oxbow almost daring him to shoot. But they get it up ahead, Bruce Ilsley. Over to 
it in. Misplay by the defense back here. Cleared up. Davison. A lot of field in front of him here. Thurston gives chase. Davison back over to the middle. Mitchett. Lincoln Mitchett up ahead. I believe that is uh, Cody Trudeau with that play right there. It's again, I'm matching up names. Nope, that's Xavier Hill. Number five for Hayes, if I'm seeing that right. Now they're over here, I can look at some numbers. Get the right names and numbers here. Gabriel Mitchett is number eight, and number five is indeed Xavier Hill. Davison up, cleared with authority by Andrew Emerson, the junior for the Olympians. 28-49 and counting. Left to go here in the first half, Hazen up 1-0. Courtesy of a Cody Hall goal. Here's Hill up ahead. Baker over to Bruce. Bruce gives chase. Fortman looking to get it inside to Baker. Chips it up ahead. And that's going to go out of bounds. I believe we're going to have a corner kick. Easy. Coach Talon Bryant back at the helm this year for the Hazen Union Wildcats. Here's the Hazen corner. Middle looking for something. Goodrich knocking that one away. Play back, Carter Bailey right there. Lincoln Mitchin moving up. Gets it over to Davison. Davison back over. Willette which the, with the touch pass to Isaiah Baker, looking over on the far side. Cody Hall over there in the far corner, looking to make a move, makes a move, gets by one defender, through the legs of another, and out of bounds. Hazen, corner, kick. Cody on the corner. Looks like a structured play here, the way everybody lined up, then kind of moved away. A little bit of almost like a rugby scrum out there until everybody got out. Bailey gives chase. Red throw. Baker streaks up on the inside, tries to get off a shot, turn around, and goal! Kind of a slow roller there, as Baker put the shot on, sort of rolled toward the post, his brother Jaden right there. Let's go Wildcats! To chip that one in, to give your Hazen Union Wildcats the 2-0 lead. Here against the Oxbow Olympians. Ball just kind of rolled forever back there to the post. Off the post and in. Cats lead 2-0. Baker up ahead. A 
Rivard. You're not going to bump him out of there. Oxbow player tried. You got to be a, a, a pretty big boy. Goal kick, Olympians. Cody Hall, chest down. Cody on the inside, tries to get by. Andrew Emerson breaks that up. Reed Keeler tries to put on a shot. Davison right there, called, I thought, called Tyson for being offsides, I believe. I thought he was by a step or two. Trying to get that little bit of a break. Free kick rolls up. Keeler streaks in front to steal that one. Oxwell players just kind of stood there waiting for it to come to him. Keeler says, I'll take that. Baker says, I'll take that. Shoots it wide. Right. A little bit of cloud cover today, but it is warm. Tomorrow for the girls game, I don't think it's going to be quite as nice as this from what I'm seeing for the weather forecast. Fucking thunder showers, maybe. I think thunder showers in the afternoon, and then cold. And probably snow by Thursday morning. Welcome to Vermont weather. Rivard, over to the far side. He's in defense, playing way up midfield. He's been in control a lot of this first half. Kept the ball right down to the Olympians' end. Seen several corners, a couple of goals. Just another dominating performance here by the Hazen offense. Twenty-two fifty left to go in the first half. And that one went a mile high. I'd say he got under that one a little bit. Goal kick. Olympians. Shot on, save. Nice save by the freshman. Point blank shot from Jaden Baker. I don't know, the Olympians defense looks kind of like it's, I don't know, standing still at times out here. I've seen a couple of nice plays, but other times where they're just sort of, I don't know. I try not to coach from the press box. Isaiah Baker going to take the corner for the Cats. Hi. Revard with the head on it. Over the top. Olympians goal kick, short goal kick. I'm gonna say you're not gonna get away with that. With these uh, speedsters, we've got a front for us. Cody chips it up ahead. Baker chips it up ahead, looking for the other Baker. The fabulous Baker boys. That's what they are, Leaf. The fabulous Baker boys. Leaf up here overseeing things. 
Once again, good to be back on HCTV. We're about halfway through the first half of your Hazen Union Wildcat Boys home opener. They currently hold a 2-0 lead over the visiting Oxbow Olympians. Their record is 2-0, courtesy of wins over Richford and Danville. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Our sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And I can personally attest that their home fries are awesome. Any time of day. Cats. Looking to keep the control up in the Oxbow end. Oxbow looking to mount some kind of thing. They came out of the gate really good. They got a... A really decent shot on, on the uh, mini shopper right off, right in the opening moments of the game. But since then, not able to mount much of an attack at all. See what they can do here. Drop in. Keeler. Gets by that one. Matthew Cordy. Giving chase over there on the far side. Cody Hall with the cross. Save. Once again, a freshman starting for the Olympics today, Dakota Goodrich. Goal kick, Goodridge back. Baker heads it down. Keeler. Ah, oh, swords by Tyson. Looking for Tyson. Couldn't quite catch it. up a little bit on Isaiah's arm. We're going to call the handball. Carter Allen plays it over. Jeremiah Fifield back in the middle. Allen clears it way up. Baker there to collect that one down. Davison over to Baker. Reed Keeler, Baker, beautiful passing. Baker, I was looking to drop by that one to his brother Jaden. The fabulous Baker boys looking to strike again here. And the Olympians gonna get a chance to move the ball up past midfield. Carter Allen. Big boot up ahead. Looking up there for Aaron Thurston. Thurston over here on the near side working against Carter Bailey. Carter Bailey trying to keep it in. Thurston going to get the cross. Bruce Ilsley was there in the middle. Throw in. Gets by Reese Ilsley. Bruce Ilsley looking to get the turn. Keeps it in. Carter, Allen, up ahead, Bailey knocks that one down. And Carter Allen going down low to keep control of that one. Tyson gets it back, however, moves it up ahead. Olympians defense back in position now. Let's see what the Cats can do here against it. Ball right there in the middle, nice knockdown. I think that's Gavin Haskins again. Yes, it is. Nice play by Haskins. Here's Tyler Rivard looking in the middle. Baker off of Haskins again. Was that Haskins? No. Can't see the number on the back. 
13, Jeremiah Fifield. There's Cody Hall. Back to Carter Hill. How's it going, buddy? I have a nickname for Carter Hill, but I'm saving it for basketball. Yeah, that's why I brought it. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't use it for soccer. I'll have to come up with something different. I'll come up with something, but my, my true nickname for Carter, I've got to say for basketball season. It just wouldn't be as effective in soccer. Not that I'm dissing soccer at all. Davison inside. Baker back to Davison. Broken up by Thurston. High in the air. Davison chases it down. Makes the turn. Keeler. Thurston right there to defend. Carter Allen goes down low again. Allen up ahead. Here's a shot. Bruce Ilsley, if he can outrun the defense. Can get a shot on. He's got an angle. Save. Nice effort by Bryce. Excuse me, Bryce Ilsley. I've been saying Bruce. It's Bryce Ilsley. Bryce. He is a senior. So I want to make sure and get his name right. Bryce Ilsley with that attempt for the Olympians. Out running two defenders to get the shot off. But the mini shopper, about as good a goalie as you could ask for. I don't think I've ever seen the mini shopper play anything but goal. I'm sure he's been on the field maybe a little bit, but I've always seen him play goal. Drop over. Keeler trying to get it. Shot on. Save. Nice play out. It's got to be Haskins again. Haskins is really kept the Olympians from being down three or four here. Two zip, 13-16 left to go in the first half. Throw in, Carter Bailey. Play out, Olympians looking to generate something on offense. I think we're gonna get a call. I think a little bit of elbow or something. A little bit of a foul there. Going to give the uh, Olympians the kick. <laughs> Carter Allen, the senior. <laughs> Carter Bailey up here. Playing against Reese Ilsley. Keeler, a lot of field there in front of him. Played back up with authority, Jeremiah Fifield. Bryce Ilsley, nice drop over to Reese. Off the end line, we'll have a corner kick. Looks like Carter Allen's gonna take this for the Olympians. Make the trip up from Bradford. Nice ride up the interstate. You look out, foliage about gone. Carter Allen on the corner. Corner kick in the middle. Looking, Olympians looking to get the turn. Can't get it. Hayes in defense right there. No, shot back in. Gavin Haskins keeping that one in. We could have been up here about a week, week and a half ago. We would have had some spectacular foliage. Pretty well gone by right now, but I'll tell you, for about a week, it was nothing short of stunning. And it like popped, I swear to God, in like a day. I remember being out like on a Thursday and saying, okay, this is nice, still a little dull. Then I went out Friday and I was like, wow, what happened? Yeah. And then after months of no rain, we got rain and wind and Poof when all the leaves. <laughs> Throw in Thurston for the Olympians. Davison steps in front of that. Tyler Rivard. 
Moving up through, gets it to the outside to Davison, setting it back up. Here's Carter Bailey. Carter Bailey, nice pass inside to Keeler. Keeler was looking back outside for Tyson. Tyson's going to cross it in the middle. Jaden Baker was wide open in the middle. Rivard tries to get the shot on. Cody Hall shoots high. CJ Hall with the high shot up over the crossbar. Ten minutes left to go here in the first half. Cats up to zip. Courtesy of goals by Cody Hall and Jaden Baker. Baker, shot up high, cleared out. Thurston keeps it in. China, he was looking up front here for Reese Ilsley. Couldn't quite get it to him. Wind picking up a little bit. Blowing towards the Hazen end. Been a might blustery this afternoon for a little bit. I mean, look at this. Baker, goal! The elder of the fabulous Baker boys. Isaiah Baker. Hazen, 3-0, 9-0-3 left. I mean, did you see the passing, though? I mean, I was just, you know, just picking them apart there. Pass, pass, pass. Patience, patience, patience. Get the shot. Textbook. I tell you, if Harry Bissett was standing here right now, he would, I think he'd give him an A-plus on that play. up in the middle, broken up by the defense, Thurston. Moves it back, Fifield, back up the middle, knocked down Willette. <laughs> Cody tried to make a move inside, Olympians defense there to break that up. Here's Willette, back. Zach Kane got a foot on it over on the far side. Zach Kane. Moving up through. Rivard. Looks over on the far side, near side here for Davison. <laughs> the middle child. <laughs> I know that feeling. Shot on goal! Tyson. Davison and the scoring erupts here in the latter parts of the first half. Four zip now. Tremendous, fellas. Just passing, patience, and uh, just a great thing. So we've got Isaiah Baker with one, Cody Hall with one, Jaden Baker with one, and now Tyson Davison. I better start keeping track of these. I can't rely on my memory anymore. This is about as balanced an offensive attack as you could ask for in soccer. Unreal. I mean, any of these guys up front can score at any time. And they're just as happy to pass off and get the assist as well. I mean, total unselfishness. It's great, great soccer right now. Thurston moves that one up. I also want to give credit here. I'm looking out, and I believe these are members of the uh, Lady Cats varsity team that are serving as ball girls today. Nice to see the show of support. Hopefully the boys return the favor for them maybe tomorrow night. Drop pass in. Still amazes me what gets away for a throw in now. I mean, they can almost do like a chess pass, and it's like, okay, yeah. Back in my day, if that ball had any type of spin, your foot wasn't down, your arms didn't come up over your head completely. 
You are nailed. Cody Hall! Moving across, off the end line. Goal kick. Six twenty left to go here in the first half. Cats up four zip. Been in control pretty much all game. Olympians have gotten a couple shots off. They got a couple of opportunities uh, down here in the last few minutes or so. But uh, other than that, Cats dominating. Carter Bailey looking over Davison, getting by Thurston. Once again, Olympians coming in here with just one sub today too, so these guys are gonna be getting tired. No real break. Davison can't quite get the shot as the freshman goalie, Dakota Goodridge comes out. Shot goes wide. Goal kick up, taken down, Cody Hall. Back in the middle, Rivard. Carter Hill over on the far side. Gonna make a move, nice defense there by Lincoln Mitchett. Beautiful defense, that is what you call a stop. Keeler, back to Rivard, Rivard over here. Going in the corner, I don't think the field is quite slow enough for Tyson to catch that up. Oxbow, goal kick. Thurston can't catch that one. Carter Bailey in the field. Isaiah gives to Keeler. Keeler back. Isaiah goes in. And they're going to call Jaden for being off sides again. Broke maybe a half a step. Boy, that was close. Very close with the goal. The uh, referee right on line. Right there to make it. Fifield has that one go by him. Davison. Trading a little paint back here with the freshman, Jeremiah Fifield. <laughs> Isaiah Baker, middle of the field, beautiful placement. Skying up to grab that one. The freshman, Dakota Goodridge. Nice save. Mitchell taking his time, looking for Baker, gets it over to Rivard. Back up. Willette over to the far side. Hill gives chase. Going to keep it in. No. Throw in. 210 left in the first half. Olympians maybe going to try and make a little bit of a run here. Throw in. Turn around. Over on the far side. Throwing Olympians once again. Trying to get something generated here at the end of this first half. Minute 40 left. Bruce 
Fortman. Rivard comes up. Baker. Nice move to get it by Baker. It's over here for Reed Keeler. Jaden Baker up ahead. He stayed on side this time. Get dances around. Goodrich goes down. Can't come up with it. I believe that was Andrew Emerson, number six, over there on the far side. I think that's a six. Or if it's an eight, it's Matthew Cordy. I can't tell from my vantage point. Whether it's a six or an eight. Or if a six was a nine. No, wait, that's a Jimi Hendrix song. Under a minute to play here in the first half. Cats. Commanding 4-0 lead. Dominating performance once again. Keeler. Nice move. Baker. Trying for the turnaround. Taken out. Davison. Comes back around. Baker. Takes the defender out of his cleats. Back out. Shot on, save. Goodrich, punt, midfield. All goes. Lincoln Mitchell working against Reese Ilsley. Gets it up. And that'll end the first half with the Cats leading 4-0. Courtesy of goals by the fabulous Baker boys, Jaden and Isaiah. Tyson Davison, Cody Hall getting in on the scoring as well. Gives your Hazen Union Wildcats the 4-0 lead. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us, streaming worldwide and archived. Liz on camera. Sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Breakfast all day. We'll be back at the beginning of the second half. Second half action about to get underway here at beautiful Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School in Hartford, Vermont. Your Hazen Union Wildcat Boys, their home opener this season, playing against the Oxbow Olympians, leading 4-0, courtesy of goals by the fabulous Baker Boys, Isaiah and Jaden. Tyson Davison and Cody Hall getting in on the scoring as well in the first half. Another dominating performance on offense and defense for the Cats. Who come in with a record of 2-0, courtesy of victories over Richford 6-1 and Danville 10-0. Sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Give Mike a call. He will, put, he will sell you insurance on anything and everything that you need insurance for. And the Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. The home fries are awesome. The sausage is great. The eggs are good. You could eat it all day, every day. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080 on your TV dial and www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Here for our inaugural soccer game of the season. On a nice October afternoon. Some cloud cover. And uh, foliage about shot for this year. There's pockets of it here and there, but with the wind and rain coming tomorrow, I think that's going to about be the end of it. Cats. Working the opposite end of the field, of course, from the first half. But I don't think it matters. These guys can score from anywhere, everywhere, at any time. And any of them can score. Just fantastic passing, ball movement. Keeler, shot, goal! That took a whopping 27 seconds of the second half for Reed Keeler to gather in that goal and give the Cats a 5-0 lead here against the Oxbow Olympians. Olympians once again came in with just one sub, so they're basically, you know, this is their team. Not a very deep bench. Hazen's got a, a couple guys over there. Olympians defense. You don't want to cross towards the center of the field, that's for sure. Ball rolls off. Corner, kick. Cody Hall going to take the corner.
All right, going to take the throw. Excuse me. Ball went off the side, yes. A little exuberant. I like corner kicks, so, you know, I like to give everybody an opportunity on corner kicks as much as we can. Ball down. Save. Once again, a freshman in goal for the Olympians. Cody Hall here on the near side. Makes a move past. Looking to turn the corner off the end line. That's Cameron Roy booting that out. Now we'll have the most exciting play in all of soccer, the corner kick. C.J. Hall going to take the corner. Ball up in the middle, looking back. Play, trying to play in by Mitchell. Turnaround, Rivard gathered up by Goodridge. Middle of the field, Baker up high. I'm going to call him for a uh, going up high, I think, on that one. Cody Hall looking up ahead. He's looking for Baker. If that ball gets by and Baker can get a foot on it, but he's not going to. Goodrich going to knock it up. Nice play over there on the far side. Gets it up to his player. Fortunately, a whole bunch of red jerseys right there as well. Baker. Moving up through, trying to work around Zach Kane. Baker. Chip in. Cody Hall. Wants to get there. Couldn't quite get there. Nice punt. Beautiful punt up the midfield. Lincoln Mitchell gets the head on that one. Cody, shot on. Save Goodrich. Streaking in to make that place. Carter Bailey, he's on a mission over there on the far side. Collides. Let's hope they're both okay. We can't have any Olympians going out. They've only got one sub. Jeremiah Fifield goes down in a heap on the far side. Pass in. Baker. Back out. Here's Lincoln. Looking up. Revard. Back over on the far side. Tyson Davison in the far corner. Kicked out by the Olympians defense. We're going to be throw in. Wind picking up a little bit, blowing right into the uh, Oxbow end as it pretty much has been the entire game. At times gusting up a little higher than others. Another nice punt. Cameron, Cameron Roy looking to make the move up. He's ahead of the defense. Can he get the shot off? Got a tough angle there, the shopper. The mini shopper sweeps that one up. In fact, I can tell you the one, I believe the uh, Trying to think of the score of the Richford game. I can remember them, Shopper giving up one goal on a PK. I can't remember if they got another goal up there or not. I want to say they didn't. I love you, Joey. So I think uh, the only goal of Shopper, to my knowledge, he may have had one other one go by him in Richford, but I think the only one was on the PK. Other than that, he's played shutout soccer. I think anyone with his defense playing the way they have and the offense controlling the way that they have, there's times he's kind of feeling like the Maytag repairman back there. Baker, Jaden Baker shot on, wide. <laughs> we 
mean, there were moments in the Danville game. He could have been back there and, you know, read and completed a book report on war and peace before he saw any action. Carter Hill going chest to chest with Gavin Haskins. Haskins has made a couple of nice defensive plays back here for the Olympians. Reed Keeler gets it over. Trying to see who that is for us on the far side. Let's see a 22 listed. Oh, that was Bruce Fortman. Cats controlling. Baker looking ahead. He's got Cody Hall over here on the near side. He's, if he can catch up, cross it in the middle. Nice. Oh, up and over high. Nice play, Gabe Mitchett. Had the play, had the pass, just put it up a little high. Baker going to put on a shot from way outside. It's going to go in. Goal! The elder of the fabulous Baker boys, Isaiah Baker, puts a shot in from way outside, gets the bounce. Uh, Goodrich mis misplayed it and uh, just had it go on by him. It happens. It happens. Baker, will he tee it up from here? Why not? And he's going to move it up. Oxbow defense trying to get the turn. <laughs> Moving up ahead. Haskins trying to make a play. Roy trying to move it up. Here comes Haskins again, working on Riker Willette. Haskins keeps it in. Ball in the corner. Willette plays it up. Taken down by Roy. Gabe Mitchett and Cameron Roy go toe to toe here on the near side. There's Riker Willette. Playing it up ahead. Cody Hall couldn't get the turn against uh, Matthew Corti. Ball goes out, throw in red. Drop pass in there. Keeler right there to tee off wide. Reed Keeler wide right. Ball back in the middle of the field. Cats advance. Baker, shot, goal! Jaden Baker says, well, big brother, you can score. I can too. The fabulous Baker boys putting on a clinic of goal scoring today. They each have two. Fabulous Baker boys, each with two. Make it seven nothing. Makes it seven nothing. Well, I've missed somebody. We got seven goals. Which one did I miss? 
hate it when I do that. Getting chippy, twos. Cameron Roy trying to make a play. Crosses out Willett off the end line. Oh, it was Reed. Reed Keeler got one. To give us the seventh goal. Corner kick for the Olympians. 28-20 left in the match. Cats up, 7-zip. Ball in the middle. Nice placement by Carter Allen. They can just get a turn, but man, our defense is stellar. And that ball took a funny little hop on the shopper as well. Big time punt. Cross field. Carter Bailey knocks that one down. Going in against Aaron Thurston. Trading some serious paint over there. Keeler. Keeler. Gives it up to Baker. The Baker boys. Keeler. Gets it by Reese Ilsley. <laughs> Cody Hall working against Haskins. Oh, you got that bag. Haskins standing toe to toe. Tough defender. Freshman, Gavin Haskins. Bruce. Bruce. Fortman. Baker, middle of the field, looking on the outside, Carter Hill. Haskin gets it by, Willett, back in. Carter Hill, nice control. Baker, gets it back, Mitchett, Baker. Over here on the far side, Cody Hall shapes it in the corner. Near side corner, working against Matthew Corti. Corti knocks it out. Gonna give Hazen the corner kick. The mini shopper goes out. I cannot see who this is coming in goal. I wish I knew. Mini shopper gonna get a break. I cannot tell. I think it could be. I'm looking at the bench and I'm looking at the field. I want to say it's Tyler Rivard in at goal. I don't see his number out there, and I don't see him sitting on the bench. But if he sees as much action as Ethan has, he's, well, you know, and he's gonna see some right now. High punch into the crowd. Nope, Cody plays that one down. Come ahead, Baker. Beautiful shot to get by as it slow rolls in. Goal, 
Jaden Baker with the hat trick. Make it 8 0. Just a beautiful play. Long, high, arcing pass. Cody here on the near side. <laughs> that was sort of a, more of a chunk than a chip. Drop down and just a nice move to get it by the Oxbow goalie. Bruce. Baker back over to Keeler. Ball kept in. Olympians trying to get something going here. Big time takedown by Matthew Cordy. Trying to move that ball out. Oxbow moves up by. This is Bryce Ilsley trying to get the shot on. Save! Save! Rebound. Line drive kick right up the middle of the field. Nice move by Bryce Ilsley to get that shot off, though. And moving up ahead. Going in. Baker shoots wide. Going for the quad, I guess you would call it. <laughs> Goal kick, Oxbow. Bruce. On the far side. Jeremiah Fifield trying to move that one up. White throw. Looking ahead for Bryce Ilsley. Ilsley looking to get another shot off. Well, that back there makes a move inside. Three Wildcats there, though. Bryce Isley doing his best to get it through a trio of cats. Have a hazen free kick. About halfway through the second half, 20 minutes and 30 seconds, and counting down here in the ball game. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV channel 1080 on your dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Sponsors today: Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, Service and Protection. Since 1979, and the Hardwick Village Restaurant opens 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily, breakfast all day. And as always, we thank our sponsors for sponsoring Hazen Union Wildcat Sports. We couldn't be us without them. Ball rolls off the end line. That'll be a goal kick. Cats up. 8 nothing. <laughs> Matthew Corti tries to move it up ahead. Cameron Roy trying to get past Carter Hill. Hill 
with the stuff. Carter Hill. Roy can't keep it in. Gonna be a throw in. today for your Hayes and Ewan Wildcats. Jaden Baker for the hat trick. Isaiah Baker with two. The fabulous Baker boys. Five of the eight. Cody Hall, Tyson Davison, Reed Keeler. The other three. Aiden Neal. Trying to get a turn. Gavin Haskins. Tries to get it inside. Can't. Back. Roy off the side of his foot. Up into the crowd. Nice save by Hazen, varsity girls coach, Harry Bissett. <laughs> Cody Hall with the throw in, back out. I believe that's Andrew Emerson who headed it back out. Oxbow, goal kick. 17-15 left to go in the match. Baker over here on the near side. Cody Hall splits to the defense. Roy gets a foot in there. Knocks it away. Bryce Ilsley in the middle of the field. Pass over. Nice pass. Cross field. Settling it down. Haskins was looking to break, get the break. Didn't get it. Tyson. Back to Cody. CJ looking in the middle there. <laughs> Number 24 in the middle, Ethan Shoplin. Just when I said I'd never seen him play in the field. There he is on the field. If, if going by the roster is right, and number 24 slash 00 is Ethan Choplin. Ethan Choplin out on offense right now. <laughs> Oxbow, goal kick. Cody Hall with the chest. Long shot. The Olympians are urging their goalie to boot it. And he does. Play middle of the field. Haskins. Aiden Neal knocks it down. Nice play back. Bryce Ilsley over on the far side. And they are going to get called for offsides. Offsides, Aaron Thurston. <laughs> Hazen with the free kick. Dropping it in, Shoplin moves in. Once again, we hear a chorus of boot it. He called, I believe, somebody's gonna call on, Hazen's gonna be called for a push. I couldn't see who it was, but it was a push. 
Carter Allen with a quick kick, trying to catch the defense up. Didn't do it. C.J. Hall looking for Shoplin in the middle, taken out by Andrew Emerson. Shoplin looking to get the foot on it. Wide. Knockdown. <laughs> Boot it. Bryce Isley. We're going to have a call. High spinner, Isley brings it down. Lincoln Mitchett right there with him, goes down. Isley trying to make a move. Mitchett gets the foot on it. Knocks it away. Bryce Isley thwarted by Lincoln Mitchett. Once again, Tyler Revard in goal for the Cats. Ethan Shoplin playing out on the field. There's a ball inside. Revard up, makes a save. Underhand softball lob up here. Cody Hall got a bunch of Olympians there. Looks up ahead. Davison moves it ahead. Here's the shopper. Lines up. He stops goals, he scores goals. Ethan Shoplin with the goal. 9 0, 11 05, and ticking in the second half. So the Cats are obviously going to push their record to 3-0. and I did not get a chance to look at their schedule, nor well, I did, but I can't remember where or when their next game is. I believe this is the only game they've got this week. Good to be back here, though, on a fall afternoon slash evening. Hudson Fields, Hazen Union High School, Hard Vermont. I'll tell you, I've been to a lot of fields. I can't think of one that's uh, much better to watch a game at than this one. Off the, off the crossbar. The crossbar is the freshman goalie, Dakota Gurdich's best friend on that one. Aiden Neal heading that one up. Cameron Roy looking to make a move against Aiden Neal. Throw in. Carter Allen 
middle of the field. Zach Kane trying to make something happen there in the middle for the Olympians. Shoplin, middle of the field. Davison, header down. Save, Goodrich. out by Andrew Emerson. Up ahead, here's Bryce. Hillsley looking to get the shot on. Back save. Nice pass there in the middle. He was looking for Gavin Haskins. Nice move by Bryce, though. Really unselfish to try and get that pass over to Haskins. Roy gets by Carr, tries to get by Willette. Roy looking in the middle, drops it in. Bryce Isley tries to pull it down. Haskins moves past, shot so nice defense right there. Beautiful defensive play. I think that was Carter Bailey. Came out of nowhere to knock that shot down. Rivard was pretty well lined up on it, but why even have to have him make a save? If you got a defender, they can do that. And we have a player down. I can't see the number because it's upside down and backwards. Riker Willette. Not sure if he got cleated or ankle, rolled an ankle or what. That stops the clock with 6.59 left to go in the match and your Hazen Union Wildcats in their home opener. They're pushing a record to 3-0. They're up 9-zip right now, courtesy of two goals by Isaiah Baker. One goal by Cody Hall. One goal by Ethan Shoplin. Tyson Davison with one. Reed Keeler with one. And the other half of the fabulous Baker boys, Jaden Baker with the hat trick. Three. Once again, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 16. On your, just Channel 16. I can't get used to that list. We're Channel 1080. When did that happen? Channel 1080 on your dial. And... Uh, Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. And Hardwick Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. Breakfast all day. Harry Bissett, do you give this game the, 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 a, a thumbs up? I mean, some really good passing out here, some great offense, some fabulous defense. Great passing. Great passing. Uh, yeah, no, they're... they're um they, they, they really possess the ball well. They're always playing positive and forward, and that's why the scores were at that. And something you preach that I've seen several times out here today, patience. Yes. Patience with passing and stuff Very like important. that. You can have a great through ball, but if you don't wait for the right timing, then it goes to nothing. It's a waste of time. So having the patience to wait for the run and find the right passing lane is very important. So and Hayden's been doing a great job. Look forward to your. Who do you play tomorrow here? Masiskoi. Masiskoi. The Masiskoi Falcons, isn't it? Yes, I believe so. The Hazen Union Lady Cats will have their home opener. You guys have started a little tough. Enosburg and Fairfax, right? Enosburg Are those the Fairfax. only two games you played? Yes. Yet to notch one in the winning column. Let's hope a little home cooking does it for you tomorrow, right? Yes. We've uh, a small squad. Excellent. Look forward to seeing the Lady Cats making their home debut tomorrow against the Masiskoi Falcons.
Pass over Keeler. Up over and wide. Goal kick, Oxbow. Keeler with the throw in. Drops it in to Jaden Baker. Cameron Roy trying to move that out. Baker picks his pocket. Baker looking up ahead. Beautiful. Tyson Davison back to Keeler. Over to Baker. Spinner. Shoplin plays that one off the crown of his head. I believe that's Bryce Ilsley still playing tough over there on the far side. Trying to get a goal here late and avoid the shutouts. Carter Allen on the top of his foot there. Plays it back. I believe it is. That's what I was saying. These guys can just about play any position, score from anywhere, and any of them can score, and they're totally unselfish. They're just as happy getting the assist as they are getting the goal. Reed Keeler makes a move, lines up, puts on a shot, save. <laughs> Reese Ilsley on the throw in. Looking for Bryce Ilsley. Can't find him, four minutes left. Ball goes off the end line. We'll have a Hazen goal kick. Long shot. Neil, gotta be on his horse. Gavin Haskins playing like it's a one zip game as opposed to a nine zip game. Xavier Hill on the block on that one. Ball up ahead. Defender misplays it. Shot on. Save. Goodrich. Andrew Emerson. Misplayed that one. Three minutes left in the match. Baker, Isaiah. Shoplin showing his wheels. Gets on the shot. Goodrich keeps that one from going in. Jeremiah Fifield says, get that out of my house. Bruce on the throw in. Long shot. We saw him hit from there earlier in the, in the game. Isaiah Baker says, why not? I'll try another one. Two minutes left. Cody Hall with a nice trap, bringing it up. Looks over, Baker. Xavier Hill, goal for Xavier Hill. The freshman. Once again, the Cats putting up 10 goals in a game. Beat Danville 10-zip on Saturday. 
Richford, 6-1 last Wednesday. Once again, that one goal coming off a of PK on a wet, slippery, sloppy field. Um, and on the kick, I mean, basically it was, you know, you break whichever way you think it's going to go and hope, and, and Ethan did break in the right direction, but the ball was just a real hard shot that got by him. Carter Allen. It's an on, up and over, Rivard. Up over the crossbar. And that's gonna probably just about do it with 30 seconds left. They might squeeze out this corner. But it's your Hazen Union Wildcats. Once again, putting up 10 goals while pitching the shutout to push their record to 3-0. and Our sponsors today, Calderwood Insurance, 472-5517, service and protection since 1979. Heart of Gorilla Re Village Restaurant, open 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily breakfast all day. Lance Hall with the call, HCTV, channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Liz on camera. Hazen Varsity girls coach, Harry Bissett. A little commentary here in the second half. Thank you, Harry. Two goals by Isaiah Baker, one by Cody Hall, one by Ethan Shoplin. Tyson Davison with one, Reed Keeler with one, Xavier Hill with one, and Jaden Baker with the hat trick to give your cats their 10 goals. Lance Hall with the call. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.